Hi guys and welcome to this PowerPoint quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how to record a PowerPoint presentation with audio and video if you like. Especially when you're working remote or from home, it becomes quite handy to be able to record a presentation in PowerPoint as if you would be giving it in real time. So you can easily include your audio, any live annotation or remarks on the slides or even a video recording of yourself as the presenter and subsequently share all of that as one document with your colleagues. To record a PowerPoint presentation with audio, there are only a few simple steps to complete. Once you have opened up your PowerPoint that you would like to add a narrative to, click on the slideshow tab where you can see the button record slideshow just in the middle of the setup area. Now you can either directly click on the icon, so the upper part of the recording window, or alternatively, you can click on the lower part that says record slideshow, where a dropdown opens. From the dropdown, you can either choose to record the PowerPoint from the beginning, so the very first slide of the deck, or you can choose to start the recording from the current slide. This might be quite handy if you would like to comment only very complex slides with difficult information instead of the entire presentation. However, for now, let's say you want to narrate the entire presentation, so let's choose the lower option from the dropdown. Having clicked the button, this recording screen opens up automatically. Let's briefly look at all the different functionalities that are quite useful when recording a PowerPoint. First, in the top left corner, you can see the standard audio or video recording buttons to start the recording, stop or replay it. Center top, there is a button that will reveal your slide notes once it's clicked. This is quite helpful to be more structured and the good thing is that the notes will not appear in the final recording, but only you can see them. In the top right corner, there is a button that allows you to either clear the recordings of the current slide or the recordings of the entire presentation. This can be quite useful if you were not satisfied with what you said on one slide. You can just clear it and re-record it. Also, you can change the settings, namely the input for your audio and video. At the bottom left, you can see a simple timer that shows you on the left hand side the time elapsed on the current slide. The right timer tells you the total time that has elapsed for the entire presentation so far. Bottom center, there is a tool selection that you can use to annotate your presentation or highlight details you're currently talking about. Finally, on the bottom right, you can choose to turn your microphone and your video camera on and off just by clicking on the icons. The rightmost button allows you to show your video in the bottom right corner if you would like to. In my case, the camera is now currently closed, which is why you can only see a black screen. If you only want to record audio, you can turn off your video projection and the video camera as well. Now back to our recording. To start it, just click on the red record button on the top left and the timer will count down from three, two, one, and the recording starts. Now you can narrate your slide and say whatever you would like to tell your audience. If you click pause, the recording will stop and you can take a break or breath and think about your next message. Once you stop the recording on the slide, you can either replay it, so check if it is as you intended it to be. If that's not the case, you can clear the recording on the current slide by clicking on the top right button. However, if the slide recording is as you've intended it to be, you can go to the next slide by clicking on the arrow on the right. For a second slide, press record again. Again, the timer appears and the recording starts. If you want to annotate your slide or highlight an important detail, you can choose one of the colors at the bottom and either draw a line like this, or you can choose a highlighter and highlight anything that you're talking about. To stop the recording, just press the stop button on the top left. In general, when narrating your PowerPoint, you should pay attention and be aware of the fact that audio is not recorded when a slide transition happens. So make sure to stop the voiceover 
then flip the page and then start again instead of talking the entire time. Once you're done with narrating your PowerPoint slides, simply close the window with the X in the top right corner. Now that we are back in edit mode, you can see those speaker icons at the bottom right of every slide for which you have made a voiceover. If you click on the icon, you can, for example, play your narration or change the volume. However, there are also much more advanced settings to change audio or sound within a PowerPoint presentation, which you can find in the playback tab. Let me know if I should do a separate video on how to add, adjust or rearrange sounds in PowerPoint. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to save your PowerPoint with audio, there are several options. The three most common ones, in my opinion, are the following. First, save it as a simple PowerPoint. As with any other PowerPoint presentation, just save it under the name and folder you want to, for example, with the suffix audio recording or test or whatever you want. If you then open the PowerPoint and go to the slideshow mode, the recorded presentation including narration, timing, annotations, and so on, will automatically play back. Alternatively, you can open the PowerPoint in edit mode and click on the play icon and play back button on each and every slide and also the audio recording will be played back. Second, you can save a PowerPoint with an audio and video recording as a MP4 video file. To save or export the PowerPoint in this format, just go to the export function via the file tab. By the way, if you want to know how to save a PowerPoint as a JPEG, PNG or PDF, check out the video in the info box. So having clicked export, you can then select to create a video. Choose your preferred quality and the timings and narrations. I would always recommend choosing the timings and narrations because in that case, your own pace and all the annotations will be included and played back in the video. If you click on create video, again, the file name and location can be changed and indicated. And if you save it, it will be saved in this MP4 video format. And last, there's the option to save the PowerPoint with audio recording as a WMV file. If you want to save it in this file format instead of an MP4 file, just go to the Save As pop-up and choose WMV file as the output format. In that case, you cannot choose from any more options, but rather the default will be saved, namely your recording timings, including narration and annotations. Again, Choose your preferred file name and file location and save the presentation. So now you know the basics of how to record and save a PowerPoint with audio. Did you like the video and did you find it interesting? Then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks and bye.